WPGET Web Dev Tutorials for All User Levels. Okay, guys, so this should be a nice quick video for a change. Um, so, today I was working with a client who had a situation similar to this mock up that I've got on the screen here, where on the left hand side, we've got a heading uh, in a narrow column, and on the right hand side, they've got three columns of extracts. In their case, it was from blogs. I've just chucked some Laura Mipsum in a text editor here. Um, so you can see I've got dotted borders around these two areas. So on the left, that's the narrow column. On the right, it is the wider column. Now, I'm actually using Elementor's new flex boxes here. Doesn't matter. This could be easily sections and columns. The same concept applies. I want to demonstrate the problem first. So if I bring up my Chrome DevTools, and actually let me just go back to my editor because i've actually solved the problem and forgot to comment it out so i'm just going to comment this out so i can demonstrate the actual problem <clears throat> okay so if i use my Chrome DevTools in my mobile responsive mode or device mode. And in responsive mode, I drag my right handle across. I get to a point on the left hand side, you can see the image, sorry, not the image, the um, heading. And at the moment it's dropped down where every word's on a single line uh, because it can't fit into this area. So it's just wrapping. Okay, so that's okay there. And when we get to here, 100% on mobile, breakpoint, it's fine. Then the tablet, breakpoint, it's all on one line. So the way we fix this is we want to rotate that um, when it's during during the uh, mobile and uh, tablet uh, breakpoints. So how do we do that? So if I looked at the H2, for example, I could just use a CSS transform. So I could type transform, rotate, uh, 90 degrees, whoops. And you can see here, straight away there's a problem because when you do rotations or scaling or anything like that with transform, it does not affect the bounding box. If I look at the bounding box that's there, if I look at the, the sorry, the bounding box for that um, uh, heading, it's there. So it's just basically rotated the problem uh, and it's even gone outside of the uh, border. So it's not even respecting the padding. So that just does not work for us. So let's get rid of that transform. So let's look at another CSS property, which is the writing mode. So we change the CSS writing mode to vertical. We want vertical left to right. You can see here it's rotated uh, correctly and we've still got our 40 pixel uh, border around the outside or margin, I should no. We've still got our 40 pixel padding around the outside. So it does respect the CSS uh, bounding box. Now you can see here that it's actually aligned to the left because it sees the left as being the baseline when you're in the writing mode of vertical. So we need to fix that. So to fix that, we need to go to the container above it, so the, edit, the widget container. Tell it that's a flex container, so we basically set the display flex. Okay, and we get this beautiful little helper in uh, Chrome DevTools where we want to tell it it's a flex direction of row. We want to justify our content to the middle. And you can see that's moved to the middle now. So if I look at that uh, element there, you can see it's got spacing either side and it's perfectly aligned in the middle. So that's exactly what we want. But now if I go to bigger screens, it's still rotated vertically. 100% screen or mobile screen is still rotated vertically. So basically what we have to do is take this rule for the widget container and the rule for the H2, and we need to stick those inside a media query. So we head back over to here, to my editor, and that's pretty much what I've done here. So what I'm saying here is that for the media, if the minimum width is 767, so your mobile breakpoint, maximum width is 1025, so one above your tablet breakpoint, 
then use the selector keyword so we're only targeting this element uh, and set the elemental widget container display to flex direction to row justify content to center that centers everything and then we set the writing mode on the h2 to vertical lr now because that's in a media query if i go back here now and do a control f5 so between so i'm on 948 at the moment if i go below 767 it's now horizontal if i go above 767 it's vertical go above 1025 we appear 1024 it's fine get to 1025 whoops and we're back to being horizontal so that was the resolution so two things the widget container we need to set the flex to align that vertically uh, sorry align that uh, in the middle horizontally and then we need to set the h2 writing mode to vertical LR, lr and that solves our problem so i hope that's something that we all find useful